welcome to this week's episode of the Overflow Podcast at theoverflowpodcast.com. As always, my name is Joaquin. And I'm Jake. And today we have a special visitor from the great white north. Because <laughs> we got white friends. Yeah. Because, listen, we all have white friends. <laughs> uh, we want to welcome <laughs> Promise, who is joining us today. What's up, man? What's going on? It has been a joy having you here with us, just chopping it up before we started recording. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. Um, one thing we always like to ask all our guests is, why don't you just kind of give us a little thumbnail sketch of who you is. Of who, who is Promise. Well, who is Promise? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Or what pa is Promise? Pa pause. Keep your promise. Wait, wait, pause. Before oh. he does that, I want to I wanna say a funny a funny story. Are uh, you going to, a, a funny, is this a funny promise story? Do you promise? Yeah, it's a funny promise story. Do you promise is a funny story? I promise it'll be funny to us. Okay. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> last night at the house, my, <laughs> my dad's talking to Promise, right? And he says, oh, no, no, wait, wait, stop. First, what's your real name? And <laughs> Promise is like, Promise? It's like, no, stop. Your real name. It's like, Promise. It's like, that's your real name? That's not your artist name? It's my real name and my artist name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you serious? Your name is Promise? It's like, yeah, my name is Promise. It's like, oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say, I promise. <laughs> my name I is promise, promise. My name. Oh, well then. I definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to use puns when you have such a great name. I was going to say something, but I might have offended somebody. He, nah, not in my house. No, 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 not in your house. Listeners. I'm oh, listeners now. Nah. <laughs> oh. I was like, wait, we recorded. We recorded. <laughs> oh, listen. I, I, don't know, I don't know that well, you could say anything that would be as offensive as some of the things Jay has said. <laughs> well, maybe or, or maybe me. not because... The majority of our listeners are outside the country. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so we they, get it. So they might good, they might not even we get like, a good mix. Get it. I mean, I've been dissing Canadians since we've started and we've yeah. yet to hear anyone say anything. True, anything. true, <laughs> true story. No, it's a Joaquin thing. <laughs> no, it's just a me thing. <laughs> it's a Joaquin thing. He, he did the you same watch thing. Any show, any movie right now, yeah, he's I got this girl from from Canada. Oh, she must be strange. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Okay, I've no, seen she must be super sweet and super polite. Yeah, super yeah. sweet and super polite. I mean, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. From what I've heard. health care for when you have your baby. From, from, what I, from what I've heard. <laughs> from what I've heard. I don't know about that. You know, she might have health care for when you have your baby to go along with her you eight know, babies. She might be a Sasquatch. <laughs> she's Canada. Terrible. I'm just saying. Terrible. You don't know they're always layered up, right? Because mm -hmm. they're so cold. You don't know what you get when you unwrap that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But you unwrap that. So, with that, with that, all that being said, yeah, promise. Give us a let's quick jump snapshot. back on the, on the yeah. rails here. Promise. What's up? <laughs> Tell us about yourself. I'm a artist, songwriter from uh, Toronto, Canada. West Indian parents, you know, Bo Barba Bo Barbados and Jamaica mainly. <laughs> oh no, no, you're Latino. Come on, yeah, you just yo, my, promise. Just, just found out he was Latino. <laughs> Oh. I, in the recent few years, I found out my dad's mom was or my grandmother was born in Brazil. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is crazy to find out like six years ago. Like, you know, like, right. what? What do you mean nobody nobody told you? Nobody I don't speaks know about who it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had identity crisis. Like, yeah. what? That, that one 40 or whatever <laughs> eighth of me. Yeah. Got to get in touch with that. So now I got to go to Brazil. Oh. Just, Game. Take Joaquin with you. <laughs> nice. Game. I'll go. All right. <laughs> Let me get my passport. Um, uh, all right, so how long have you been doing this whole music thing? Many moons. I've been many, many moons. moons. <laughs> so, you know, 40, 50 years. All right. <laughs> 40, 50 years. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, how long, you know, could you share a little bit of I mean, your testimony? Like how long have you been a believer? Mm -hmm. How, you know, how did you become into Knowing Christ, that kind of thing. Uh, I've been a believer like all my life. You know, I grew up going to church with my family. Okay. However, in my late teens is really when uh, my relationship with Christ really <laughs> started. And my, my walk, <laughs> if you want. Okay. Say. You, know, you guys didn't see. He he put up he, air quotes. He put air quotes. <laughs> walk. <laughs> my um. That's when I first started. You know, taking that part of life seriously and uh, going to church on my own. 
right and not being forced not like wanting to get to know god this person that we always talk about and we're learning about in sunday school and right i've never paid attention to before so that was about my late teens late teens all right cool yeah. and so uh what are you doing in uh, atlanta right now I'm out here just kicking it with the homies. We eating just wings, you know. Kicking yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I, I initially was out here with Red Bull and uh, my homie, Lord Quest, who's a, a Grammy-nominated platinum producer. Ooh. Lord Quest. Ooh. Ooh. I can shout out Brampton because it's getting famous now for the wrong reasons. You know, Kardashians. Baby father and all this stuff. <laughs> Baby dad. Baby dad. So, yeah, we were out here with Red Bull Music Publishing at Patchwork Studios in the writing camp. Just, you know, writing songs, creating for, you know, movies and commercials and stuff like that, placements and whatnot. Oh, and okay. I'm writing for other artists in Atlanta. We're not going to uh, name drop. Like nice. That, stuff like that. But be on the lookout for my, my new single. Hey. It's going to be <laughs> hot fire. Hot oh, I was, fire. Um, actually, Magda. Y'all don't even know. Magda was was bragging about your freestyling skills to promise last night. Yeah, it's something to behold. <laughs> not saying it's something good to behold, <laughs> but it's something to behold. Um, so, you know, anywho, <laughs> I'm not going to big up myself, but, you know, pretty fire. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, so we're glad you're here. So now, you know, as we talked earlier, man, we just want to, you know, get to know you. We just want to chop chop up some some stuff. So um, let's do this. Before, you got anything to say, Jay? Hi. Hi, uh, Jay's, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Um yeah. So let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna kind of um, there's three things really kind of that we're uh, we're gonna be hitting hitting today. Um, two of them super quick, which are the ones that we normally hit. Oh, for um, all you for all the DC fans, the, the shows, make sure that you're keeping up with Titans because uh, it has gotten so it's good. It's gotten so good. Um, last episode had me going what hands. Um, if you're if you're listening to this this week, don't forget Elseworlds crossover event starts Sunday for the CW starts on Sunday with Supergirl. Then I think it's Flash and then Arrow. Not, not only that, but I received an email from DC Universe saying that starting Monday they're gonna start um, playing all of the first two seasons of Young Justice. Complete with like commentary. Nice. Well, not playing because they had you know they're gonna just put it on the app, but they're gonna have they have the the two seasons that you can just watch straight if you want to relive it because season three is gonna drop I think January fourth. January. I was about to say December fourth, which got me really excited because that's tomorrow. (laughs) But no, (laughs) January fourth. January fourth. But starting Monday, they're gonna drop like the two seasons with create a commentary behind each episode. So, So, if you really want to go that extra. Extra, extra mile, mile of as always. Nerdiness. Now t- tonight, uh, this weekend, I totally missed it because I totally forgot. They had that the 40th anniversary of Superman that was shown in the theaters. Right, um, and I meant to go, but I completely just completely escaped my mind. Um, so anyway, uh, so since we're we're dealing with movies, uh, the new Captain Marvel uh, trailer uh, dropped today. The first. I think this is the for me this is the first real trailer because the first trailer that dropped made no sense to me. I did not understand it. I, I didn't like what, it at all. I didn't know what was going on. I was like chopped up. You know, they were going all over the place. Now we finally got a trailer that's kind of got a bit of a more linear story. And they showed the scrolls. The scrolls. I'm sorry. This isn't a a, a spoiler-free trailer review, right? No. You know, I mean, you're going to see the trailer anyway, so don't yeah. matter. Right? They showed don't like get you that. get the first full visual of the scrolls that have been hinted in At. Guardians of the Galaxy, right? But they've never actually showed them, and um, right. And we're gonna see it was, Ronan it was again. Pretty cool, yeah. Uh, who was in Guardians? Now, uh, now, admittedly, between the three of us, I was underwhelmed by the by this second. Right, trailer. Jay was underwhelmed because he didn't know what what he what was. I don't know. I, don't I just think. I don't know. I I was expecting. I, don't know I was expect. I was, yeah. ex- <laughs> I was expecting more. Why? What does more mean? <laughs> like that's the thing. Like I'm expecting more. She shot blast out of her. Head. I she was she flying flew, through space. Yeah. She had the helmet. Right. Because this is be, all right. This is the deal. She right. was this dressed is, with the armor of God. This is the deal. No wait. The wrong. armor of God. Wait. Wrong one. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. Um. Okay. As we discussed before we started recording, right? The decision of for, of Marvel to finally go ahead and make a Captain Marvel movie 
was because of Wonder Woman, right? The first two Wonder Woman trailers, like you were in awe. Right, they let you like, oh, well, my but is God. it? Well, that's no, and it's not because it's DC. It's because we're nerds, it's, DC nerds. Though. No, 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 it's mm, not. I think it's, that it's color because it. they, they, they. It was, I don't know. The like the trailers made more of an impact. Like whoever cut, whoever cut the trailer, the trailers mm, for Wonder Woman did like a better job. Like it drew you in. I'm not sure if it's the music or the scenes or whatever, but the Captain Marvel trailer, I mean, it started. It's the the opening was dope. Like her beating up on the old lady in the bus. Right. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Because we like when so, old people get beat up. Exactly. Yeah, right. Way to go, so, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I do it anyway. So I was expecting I pick fights it, with them all the time. I was expecting it to build from that. Right? Like, wow. But I, I think maybe it was the musical, the, the music that they chose for it. Like it was it didn't grab you. Right. Like for me, nothing. I'm wondering though, I'm wondering if part of I think part of it is it's it, it was a quintessential Marvel trailer. It, yeah. It's it's yeah. And I think yeah, I that think, could be it. You know, it's the intro was amazing. You know, <laughs> for me, it was like with the the part that I like was, you know, she's out in space, like flying around, like shooting blasts. Mm-hmm. That was like, I was, that's what, like, finally, like, made me go, ooh. Like, that's yeah, what, yeah, that's I saw what that drew. That's what like, drew. Yeah, drew, and I'm looking drew, at that, and I'm like, oh, man, drawn, that's cool. Drawn me in. But I'm like, oh, that's cool. Too. So, like, and I'm, and in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, that's cool. So, this will be worth seeing in 3D. They're going to have all those. <laughs> yeah, right. All the space things. stuff. Ooh. But, it, um, it, I don't know. So, I, was I don't know. I, I think it looks, and it's, I mean, it's still what, like, Four months away, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so who yeah, knows? Man. You know who knows what more is going to come out. And we all know this movie is going to make bonkers, like oh, yeah. bonkers you amount of money. Aquaman, while we're talking about this, uh, Whoa. what do we think about Aquaman? <laughs> Let me just say that when do, uh, when Aquaman drops, I'm going to be in Puerto Rico, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to fly to the United States so to that watch I can, it on so that I can watch it on back. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to fly back for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows this yet. My parents don't know this yet. No, I'm super excited about Aquaman. I am super hyped. Excited. And, you know, uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine. See, I, I'm, I can't wait to see it. I think it looks amazing. Mm-hmm. I think James Wan has, he's, I think he's going to pull off the practical effects with the CGI that, mm-hmm. that DC sometimes has, has problems with. Yeah, it has a lot of problems. Um, I'm going to be in Puerto Rico. I, I leave on the 19th. My sisters don't come till a week later, a few days later. So I think I'm gonna try to talk pops into driving. Is down. there an IMAX in Puerto Rico? There's no IMAX in Puerto Rico. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Have to see it in I'll a, watch it on the IMAX. For I'm gonna have both to see us. it in a, in a. I'm just gonna have to see it in a regular, regular, regular theater. So then why not just watch it on the 15th with the Amazon Prime? Because I totally forgot. But maybe I can still buy a ticket. No, if you can, can still buy a ticket. There's still tickets available. Uh, if I can still buy a ticket when I get paid this weekend, then I will do that. Watch How it on can the you 15th. Watch it before on Amazon Prime. What is it? If you have Amazon Prime, you have yeah. here in America, <laughs> you can buy a ticket to see it a week early. A week early I, on the 15th. In but you're From not but you have to be an American. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm just, for real? <laughs> no, of course oh, not. Dude, I just mess with yeah, you. you can you can buy tickets to watch it on the fifteenth. If you show a Canadian license, it's like, sorry, buddy. Are you gonna be here? I'm be in Florida. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if you're gonna be Ten, here, then so to the twenty eighth. Yeah, I'll on, get the tickets. On, we can go together. Yeah. But no, but he'll be in Florida. <laughs> yeah, you're in Florida, so you're on your own. <laughs> I'll get the tickets. <laughs> Why? You're on your own. Yeah. You want to drive and pick me up. Yeah. We'll come get you, no. buddy. We'll come get you, friend. <laughs> um, no, I think Aquaman. Aquaman looks amazing. They've yeah. they've done some early screenings that have come out and have been pretty, down, so pretty, pretty positive. <laughs> yeah, that's a new thing Amazon is doing. Yeah. Um, I, I just I, wish that they did it for like IMAX. Yeah. So hold on, you both have Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get a lot of stuff off of Amazon? Yeah, uh, unfortunately I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I do. It's great. Yeah, and it's only hundred. Yeah, we do. Well, that's a little over a hundred bucks. It's now. A little over a hundred bucks now. We do. Like per year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, but you get the movies, you get the music, you get. Yeah, I didn't know about any of that. You get yeah. the movies, the music, and you get and your the, the two day shipping. The two day shipping, and a lot of times the shipping. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah and a lot and a lot of music and movies. So they have Amazon like streaming. Prime. They have Amazon Music. I have streaming. Amazon Prime. Also oh, the Prime. Gives you access to that, mm-hmm. right? So the music access is only like two million songs, um, and they then, have some but, dope playlists. But curated. if you but to to join their music service, if you have Prime, it's only seven ninety nine mm. instead of nine ninety nine. And Hold then, on. so you have, you both have Amazon Music. I don't. I don't. No. Know. Right now, yeah. uh, right no, now, I'm, I'm stick to Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. What about Apple Music? No. Um, what's that? 
garbage. I stick to Spotify. What's that you garbage? Apple phones? Uh huh. No, I'm an Android. No, he's guy. Android. Right. Yeah, I have Word. an iPhone. Nope. Apple Music. But I gotta pay for something bra, bra, I can bra, get for bra, free. Bra, bra. <laughs> How can you get it for free? Spotify. You paying for Spotify? Nope. Commercials yeah. don't bother me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, actually, I just, I just, you know, Spotify has. See, I always get Spotify when they have their deals. Right. So, like right now, they have three months for nine ninety nine. So I went ahead and signed up for it, and then I'll cancel it. Well, you, you remember the three months this time because the last time you forgot. I know last time I did. <laughs> last time I signed up for three months for ninety nine cents, and then I completely forgot, and then it was like I got a nine ninety nine charge, and I'm like, what's this for? <laughs> but I will say this, and I, this is, you know, Spotify. If you're hearing us, you can put us on your thing. Um, I don't know. The paying the nine ninety nine, it's kind of worth it because the the playlists are a little better. You can kind of skip, you can skip, and you know if you don't like a certain song, and uh, it allows you to. Now the one thing I like about Spotify is that I can like, if I come in listening on my phone, I can pick it straight up on my on my tablet, and it keeps playing the same thing. Yeah, I mean it does the same thing so, whether you pay for it or not. Um, because I do that, and then I'll I'll put no, it on the, I'll put it on the on the on the PS four, and it picks right up. But do you, like like does it tell you like it's playing on this tablet? You can, mm-hmm. and it just keeps playing the same song. Yeah, because I've never had that look. Yeah, when I get to the house, it connects to the Chromecast, and then it shows me devices available. Right, so I can just oh, so put you it cast on. it. So you're casting it. No, yeah, I can open it up. I but no, but I can open it up on on the Roku, and it's since it's my account. It so you're casting it. No, dude, you're not listening because the Roku doesn't have a Spotify app. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh no no it doesn't no, the doesn't. PlayStation yeah, exactly. no yeah no yeah, the PlayStation no, it doesn't on the PlayStation I'll turn on the PlayStation open up the Spotify app since it's my account that signed in it'll pick up right where the phone left off mm-hmm. and it's the same thing on the computer mm-hmm. huh I can't uh, get that to do it no it's the same thing on the it no. happens automatically I was like oh yeah that's what I was listening to when I get to the car oh yeah that's what I'm listening to so but anywho it's uh it's not a bad deal regardless right. I've, I've heard. Off record, I've heard that uh, Android has a free version of Spotify with no commercials and unlimited skips. Yeah, you got to sideload that. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, you can do that for 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 the iPhone too. I've heard for the iPhone, they yeah for the iPhone they have that too. I've seen that, and I'm like, yeah. Nah. The problem is that the problem is you got to keep you got to keep up with it because yeah, like, yeah, they'll, they keep, they'll, they'll they keep, block it. They keep gotta, blocking it, and then uh, keep uninstalling it and reinstalling. Yeah, it's all kinds of. <laughs> to the great <laughs> asking God. for a friend, you know, a dude that I know. I know I'm a just guy saying, knows a guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the thing is that the thing is that Promise is the only person in the in the entire North American continent that still has a BlackBerry. Hey. Oh, hey, oh, <laughs> that's a good judge of loyalty, folks. <laughs> BlackBerry ain't paying you. <laughs> Are they sponsoring Are you? you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they should. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really should. You're the only one that's yeah. keeping them in business. <laughs> Do they still make phones? Anyway, um, <laughs> no, they don't. so they yeah, don't. so <laughs> so I don't know. I think uh, sometimes those services is worth, are worth paying for. I think, uh, you know, I might I might hold on to it. Yeah, when I when I I say support the artist. Well, it. You know, the, the thing is, is that like the commercials are okay, but the only thing what I don't like about free is that you don't get an you don't really get an option. You know, it's like when you hit a playlist, everything yes. automatically shuffles. Yes, that's true. And you don't no, get that's to the web version, not the side load. Well, we're not talk, we're talking we're talking the legitimate yeah. store versions. Like you yeah. don't. No, it's terrible. You know, it's hard to it's hard to you know if you want to listen to to an album that drops, it's like shuffle play. No, actually, right. yeah. when, when the album drops, you can play the album, mm-hmm. which is fun. Yeah, because when John Bellion dropped his album, I went to the album and, and like when I opened up Spotify, I was like, "Hey, um, this artist that you follow just like released a new project," mm-hmm. and I tapped on it, and you can play the actual yeah, album. I think I think like the first week you can play oh, okay. you can play through the album, and then after that. Like it mixes yeah. up. Like, it's like, yeah, like, and, it, and it's real hard. Like if you want to listen to one song, you yeah. really can't. You and, can't. And so that's why, you know, and I, you and I know, swear. Like if you're not looking at the screen, you'll be listening to Metallica and you're like, that's okay. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, a, rough. I'm a fan of Metallica. <laughs> so yeah. You look at the screen like, like shuffle play. I don't know. And it, see, and it seems the, the playlist that it makes for you is a little better when 
when you when you're paying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. I'm a Metallica just, fan. Well, that makes sense. They want to give you a taste of the features. It, you know, well, not only that, but you know, that's that's also how I like um, discover new artists. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but this? um, it's like, oh yeah. damn, this sounds good. Who is this? Okay, yeah, some stuff. Some you know, ten bucks for a billion songs. You know, and. Where you're not, you don't have to go out and buy. I get, yeah, it depends. So. If you listen to music like that, then it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's listen. I listen. Listen, that's most of most of my data goes to music and or <laughs> and and ways, <laughs> like both of those together. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So then, speaking of music, see, nice. See mm-hmm. what I did there. Bum, <clears throat> that's bum. why. That's why I'm an expert. <laughs> an expert in that what? That no one's <laughs> ever heard of. Um, an expert at dropping rhymes. Um. John Keith mm-hmm. uh, from uh, King's Dream. Mr. Homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just dropped a new video. That's uh, God. That's God. Yeah. Uh, and uh, pretty dope. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And not normally my style, mm-hmm. but I enjoyed it. I like the simplicity of the beat, actually. The beat wasn't trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I really I really enjoyed it. Um Word. So that'll be up. That'll be up on the uh, on the website along with the trailer for Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. So we're really uh... anyway. So that's God, John Keith. Uh, look it up. Go to the web page. Mm, excuse me. Uh, Theoverfullpodcast dot com. It'll be there. Enjoy it. Pass it along. <laughs> share it with all your friends. Share it with your friends. Share it with your mom. Tell them that you got it from us. <laughs> share it with your mom's friends. If your mom's cool, she might like it. My mom won't like it. My mom doesn't like it. Your all. mom won't like it. <laughs> My mom might like it. Promises mom will like it. <laughs> oh, dope. Your mom is cool. Because my mom she, is like, because she's uh, like, guys, oh, my son's a rapper, so I got to like it. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is like, oh, you guys joke around too much. So um, <laughs> You laugh too much. Yeah, well, she don't, yeah. no, My moms don't listen to the podcast. My moms don't love us. <laughs> you, laugh, um, you laugh too much. So anyway, so John, uh, John Keith, uh, that's God. Make sure you check it out. Uh, Captain Marvel trailer, um, and if you're into the CW, uh, DC uh, universe, Elseworlds next coming weekend, Sunday, <coughs> then Monday, Tuesday of next week, uh, and uh, it's going to be the introduction of Batwoman, uh, Gotham. Uh, so backdoor in the, arrow, in the Arrowverse. In the Arrowverse is a backdoor. Um, um, uh, what's it called? Like pilot to see if how that plays off. Um, so we're excited. So now, this week, Jay, why don't you set up what we're going to talk about since, since you, uh, since you, you, you wanted to discuss this today? Well, the thing is that, hold on, I'm, I'm trying to conduct some business for Promise right now. Mm-hmm. All right, so. All right, so the thing is, right, um, what Promise didn't uh, mention in his intro is that, um, like, Promise, we've known each other for, like, five years now, right? Mm-hmm. And um and I've been following him for and like it's funny twenty I I, I told him <laughs> to twenty I told promise that um I've been a fan since the day that we born. we've listened to him since that the the album that I showed you just now mm. right um that Joaquin found I discovered you discovered, in North America yeah, he discovered that he discovered and he shared with me I was like All right, yo this dude is dope but what and Im- by North America I mean the United States what imp- <laughs> <laughs> what impresses me about and promise Mexico. is that what a lot of Christian artists are trying to do now, which is, um, I guess, maneuver in both Christian markets and mainstream markets. Right. Promise has been doing that for years, right? Without any accolades, without you know gaining any attention or spotlight, whatever. He's been representing the faith and the kingdom well in both Christian and mainstream markets, right? And it's funny to me. Is that true, Promise? <laughs> Sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and it's no. I just want. I just want you know. If he gets it wrong, you just yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you say. You go fake news, and then you correct <laughs> it. <laughs> right. And and the thing is that you know, a lot of people now, a lot of people now that are trying. You know, we got like the Lecrae's, the Andy Minios, the um. The Lauren Daigles, Jackie Velasquez did it um, a while ago, both in, in English and the Spanish market. Right, in the 90s. Right? Was it 90s? Eh, yeah, it could have been, I whatever. Think it was like late 90s. You know, but like the people that are trying to do it now, 
Like they're either <laughs> they're either celebrated or demonized. They're demonized. Right? Demon, demonized. And um and it's funny to me because this dude, as I said, has been doing it for a while. I'm gonna ask him to drop. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the name drop. You know, just you know, yeah. just because. Yeah. Right. right? But greatest drop who demonized me? Or? No, no, name no, no. drop the the the, no, the like, mainstream artists that you, know, you like, worked oh, with, like okay. MC Quinito, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because like, and, and this and it's perfect. It's perfect because in the news now, I mean, yesterday, right. there's um a big kerfuffle. There you go. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, say hullabaloo, but that doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. Hubba but, uh, <laughs> That's the gum. That's the but um, there's a big kerfuffle. That's a great or, word, <laughs> right? Um, concerning Lauren Daigle and a question that she was asked. Right, right. And it's because and the kerfuffle. It's not about the question. It's about the response. It's about the response. Right. And and the thing is that had Lauren Daigle not gotten so much attention her new right. album because we've gotten so much attention right. by mainstream we, markets yeah, we like talked out of, about her out of like nowhere couple, yeah because we talked about her when we talked about when, when her, she when, when her album, album dropped when her album three dropped. On billboard but then we also uh talked remember we had that conversation um about her uh her saying that who was it? We had a, we had uh, somebody here with us. Why did it escape my mind? It was um, Drew and Dre. Drew and Dre. It was that weekend. Of, yeah, it was that uh, weekend of, the, of, uh, of AC3 the, or uh-huh, A3C, A3C or whatever C. whatever it is. So it was actually Drew and Dre. Yeah, it was, um, Drew, it was Drew, Dre, and, and Rich. Yeah, when we when when she talked about how she wanted you know to break that wall between Christian and and secular. To, right. She wanted to her music ha- to be for all to people. be for all people. So we so we so she's you know. She's been on our radar for whatever reason, mm-hmm. um, and so then yeah. And so like, this, I've this a, article, I've been a fan. I mean, I'm still a fan, but I've been a fan yeah, of her like since that, that first since, album. Since, since that first album, dope. her Christian album is is forget this about album's it. a Christian it's album. Bonk- no Christmas, I said. Oh, Christmas is bonkers. Her Christmas album is good too, <laughs> right? So, so but you know, and and we've talked about this, um, Joaquin and I on the podcast. How right? How um, that's why she won't come on. <laughs> no, not that. How Christian. Music fans feel uh, a sense of ownership mm-hmm. over their favorite artists, mm-hmm. right? Like secular artists or mainstream artists don't get the same heat mm-hmm. for doing for doing music with a Christian artist the same way a Christian artist would get heat for doing music with a with a mainstream artist. Correct. You know, like when Tori Kelly, even though she's a she's a a, a professed Christian. Right, when she did all her her mainstream music, right, nobody was like, "Oh my God, she's a Christian. She's doing all this mainstream music." And then when she did the song with Lecrae, her non-Christian fans weren't upset. Like they didn't right. get her. Why is she doing music with this Christian artist? Oh, she shouldn't be doing that, right? But Lecrae does a right. song with Ty Dolla Sign. Oh, what is he doing? You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. So they had this sense of ownership, and then they demonize. And you know you hear the Illuminati comments and the sellout comments and so I wish, the, the, I, wish the, I wish the Illuminati would come talk to us, dude. I'm pretty sure it's if, only in Christian. If like, the Illuminati's listening, if the Illuminati's listening, we are open for sponsorship. We, <laughs> <laughs> we will take your money. Uh, already got the eye. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, so Promise but, has been doing it for a while. But what are you while. saying? It was, it's only Christian rap? Yeah, with yeah it, I'm with, pretty sure it's only in Christian. definitely not in rock. Where they talk about the Illuminati Christian stuff? fans can say whatever the heck they want. No, I'm talking about with like yeah. content content, and uh, working with secular people or whatever. It's, it seems well, to only be an issue in urban Christian communities. Well, well part, part of that is is that way. So, so I... So I grew up listening to Christian hip hop. Mm-hmm. I'm talking all the way from like '88, mm-hmm. right? Um, the thing is, is that is that Christian Christian rock has already gone through this, mm-hmm. and that's that's part of it. Is they already went through the, you know, oh you you're not singing Jesus songs anymore. Oh you're you're trying to break into the mainstream. Oh why you know? So they so a lot of a lot of the stuff that's that's happening now. Mm-hmm. already happened for them now they they or they went through mm-hmm. now you know they had the fortune they were they were fortunate in the sense that there was no social media mm-hmm. 
which tends to amplify everything, yeah. you know, a mil a million times, a million times more. Um, but I think the problem that part of the problem that hip hop has is that, you know, Christian Christian rock, um, it grew. Remember, Christian rock started in the seventies with the Jesus People movement. Mm -hmm. Started out in Cal like Calvary Chapel out in uh, California, mm -hmm. you know, and these were like the hippies, and then they were doing the kind of more like the folky folk rock stuff, and then out of that, it as as these kids grew in, in within their musical styles, right? And so then you got the punk, and then the, all the other stuff, and now, um, so it was a slow going even for them. I mean, yeah, I remember even in the nineties, I, I had people asking me, like, "Why do you listen to that Christian rock? Like, wh why does that glorify Jesus?" So it's not a conversation that that. Yeah, it's, it's not a, a it's new a, conversation. It's not a new conversation. It's been it's going on forever. And in the urban world, though, I think part of the problem that the urban world has as far as Christian hip-hop is that Christian hip-hop isn't even accepted. It's more accepted in the white church than it is accepted in the black church. Mm -hmm. Right? So they didn't, so they, so they didn't have that, that uh, I guess, community in a way to, to kind of nurture. And uh, so it's always been a you know, I mean, hip hop is rebellious, anyway, mm -hmm. right? So, so then now you, so now you have the Christian hip hop kind of stuff, and it's been a, it's almost some of these, some of these Christian rappers are a little bit, a little bit rebellious, right? Because mm -hmm. oh, you don't want to listen to us, so we're gonna do our own <laughs> thing. Um, so I think that's that's part of the problem. Is is that I mean, they, even the black church hasn't really accepted. I mean, I think now it probably has more, right. a little bit more, but um. But I, I remember even back listening to even when it was these uh, when I was listening to it back in the day. I mean, even they talked about how they didn't they didn't get accepted in their in their churches. Mm -hmm. You know, so they had so they they had to find different avenues mm -hmm. right to to get their music. You know, not all of them, but I, it seems like a you know. I mean, I remember when Gospel Gangsters came out mm -hmm. and they were controversial. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. that too. You know, because uh, they were talking about. Yeah. You know, it was very real. Um, they weren't just, you know, Jesus loves you. This we know, you know, that kind of thing. You're so, so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but but I so I think that's part of part of, you know, Christian hip hop is it they're kind of, they're, they're, there's this weird rebelliousness and, and uh, non acceptance. Uh, I have two questions for you guys. I don't want to get too deep into it because I know we're only here for an hour and this this it, might go deep with it, but like, let's go deep. Okay. Nobody, so, no, nobody runs us. So, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so what is control us. what is Christian rap? Oh, he, you want to ask that question? Uh, Christian rap, ready? Christian rap is any any music. When I say hip hop music, rap music, that it can't be any music if it's that, Christian. No, no, rap. no, no. That <laughs> that um that glorifies Christ. So Jesus walks in Christian rap. No, I said glorifies Christ. Okay. Jesus walks does not glorify Christ. Okay. Don't try to cast me with the okie doke promise. Because yeah, no, I don't because I don't <laughs> I don't know. I definitely don't know what I don't know. Mm, let, me, let me figure out what, what exactly I want to say. I never knew what Christian rap was until right. I was introduced to cross movement. Right, right, and that to me is Christian rap. Right, correct. So that to a me, a lot of the that to me down that's, here that's is happening right now is gospel. Sound like Christian that to me rap is gospel rap, right? Oh, right? So there's gospel rap, yeah, ho, ho, than ho, Christian ho, rap. Yeah, no, okay. no, no. See, I I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily make make that that kind of distinction. In my opinion, there is no such thing as Christian rap. Not. <laughs> Um, it's not possible. Well, in my opinion, there's no such thing as Christian music. Not possible. Period. I agree. <laughs> like there's no. I agree. But well, you know, Christianity but, but, is but, not but, a genre. But we are using. Is, is it a? But the I things that we. Uh, who said that? We're uh, using the, the titles of, that that we're using the titles and the terms that are that are used because, so that people can understand the what we're saying. That you gave is gospel rap because it's it's a rap about the gospel. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, right. that's what it was called to begin. Listen, that's what it was called. It was called gospel Remember. rap. Yeah. The very, very first rap, you know, Christian focused lyric rap song was called gospel rap. <laughs> holy hip hop. That's right. And then right. no, holy hip hop came later. 
Holy Hip Hop came later, but Holy Hip Hop is gospel rap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's about, and I said, so I think it's just. There's even the, a cross movement lyric that's I like, think, it's not whatever, it's I gospel. Think, I think that it's called Christian Hip Hop now. I think it's, it, it's, all, it's all out of the same, it's just the name change, right? Mm. When early, early on, when, when I started listening to it, it was gospel. It was gospel rap. I listened yeah. to gospel rap. And then. So it does. And then it, again, it got changed to Holy Hip Hop. Because that, that became kind of like the, uh, a marketing term for it. But the idea is that holy hip-hop or gospel rap is kind of that cross-movement kind of lyric, you know, Jesus lyric. Yeah. As I like, like to say, kind of that Jesus lyric kind of music. Yeah, cross-movement, yeah. Shy Lin, you know, you know. Yeah. I you know, know obviously because I'm on the other side of the stone. I've always been, but I just hate when I see like other like CHH artists bashing other guys because they're not Christian rappers or Christian hip hop artists. Yeah, there's I don't. Yeah, think that's a podcast. Anything wrong that's, with that? That's, that's that's a podcast episode for when you're back. That's like one, <laughs> one person's right. a Christian doctor and the other person's a Christian lawyer. Right, but you see, <laughs> but that's it. But that's just I, I think I think we tend to look too deep into. The whole label title or label, right? So we're we're like, well, don't label me. But then we like, we really like to dig into the label of not being labeled, or you know, that, that's my label is don't label me, or my label is label <laughs> me, or you know, it's like, look, it's just a descriptor. It's just a way. It's just a way to let people know, kind of, you know, this is kind of what your content is about. Now, you know what? It's been it's been useful for me because when I have worked with youth, and when I used to work in Christian retail. And I would have parents saying, hey, I w- my kid likes rap music, mm-hmm. but I want them to listen to something that's going to build them up, not tear them down, mm-hmm. like a lot of secular music is, right? Mm-hmm. So we use terms so that we can kind of identify what it is we're talking about. You know, you know what's saying Christian rap helped me, helped me introduce these kids to, you know, the Lecrae's early on in the day and in the cross movements and all, and all those guys because the parent – Whoa, it's Christian. So that allowed that that allowed the door to be open to be able to introduce these kids to these, you know, to this music. Yeah. Even even if they weren't necessarily Jesus rappers like the grits, right, or whatever. But it but it opened that door. So, oh well, you know, they might not say Jesus, but all the their song has that that theme, right? Mm-hmm. The theme is is always somehow plugged into into God. Mm-hmm. So that so that's oh, yeah. why I, I mean I so that's no why problem. that's why those labels a lot of people call me a Christian rapper a lot of people don't like that's I, how I, I, I first care. that's like, how I first heard that's, about you that's all so, Christian rapper yeah promise? if that's what you get from it that, go with it you know, you know? Like, so I, I think I think I think that's all I think that's I think that's all that, okay ready that's all that ready is. ready I have it I have it definition <laughs> I have the definitive <laughs> definition okay if you put out music. That you're only performing in churches or Christian events, you're a Christian rapper. <laughs> no, but, but, but that's but that's not that's sort of true. And I forget where you're going with it. <laughs> but if you say but like this I is said, for the streets, but you're only in the church performing your songs in the church, you're a Christian rapper. Christian like I, rapper. But I'm not, but a lot of people consider me a Christian rapper. I don't know why. But they consider you a Christian, you know, and I, because I'm a Christian. Or maybe because the first thing they heard from me was about my faith. I think the you first thing I, mean? I heard my from first you record was kind of considered Christian. Hip-hop. I think the first thing I heard from you was that Kanye joint. Oh well, then you might not consider me. So I didn't consider like me personally. I didn't consider you a Christian rapper. Mm-hmm. I considered you like a oh. Christian guy who was doing like dope music. Actually, right? actually, a lot of people, if they if they don't think that, then they call me like a conscious rapper. Yeah, I've like heard who's spiritual, but we don't. Yeah, yeah, I've he heard didn't say Jesus, so we don't I, really know. I heard, <laughs> I've heard that about you, conscious rapper, or you know, positive, positive <laughs> hip hop. I I think part of the reason though is because once again, the thing is, is that you, your lyrics, mm-hmm. right? Your lyrics do, um, do point to God. You you have you have. You, well, I'm a Christian, you know. Right? What I'm no, like, no. Okay, so right. So no, that's but but are, that's yeah. the point. That's yeah. what I'm saying is that. So when, so when people hear that, and they're like, "Oh, this dude's pointing to God," and not a, not the spiritual, yeah. quote unquote, spiritual, spiritual God, or the, you know, what I'm saying like a very specific God, right? <laughs> the God, right? <laughs> then 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 it's like <laughs> then it's like okay, this dude's a Christian. Mm-hmm. 
he raps. Now he might, you know, he might not. But so that's how you kind of in your mind, everyone kind of because even people that aren't believers will hear and be like, oh, this this dude a Christian rapper. Yeah, no, 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 that's not true. Here, that's what here. I thought would would happen. Here, but uh, here. a lot of people here they who do don't, and a lot of people. Are there's like, a lot of people that don't. But there's oh, that's a lot. cool. You make clean hip hop, right? I'm like, okay, like. But but there's is, but is there no other hip hop the, artists that make clean hip But there's no. a lot. But there's a lot of people that do. I'm saying that there, there's <laughs> no. There's both. There's both. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That you do have people. Oh, this dude's this a Christian, mm-hmm. right? Because remember, you're, we're, we're talking America. We're talking the United the belt, States. Yeah, the belt. <laughs> you know, we're talking. You know, not just the belt. We're just talking the whole United yeah, States country, of, yeah. of America. It's you know, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you if you rap about God. In the in the in the if you brought the Christian God, you you they immediately they might not but in the back of their minds like, oh this guy's a Christian rapper, even though you don't label yourself that, because I've played I've played okay stuff I have like, one for you and and a lot of a lot of people rap about God no I right yeah right I have I have one <laughs> for you cool thing. I have one for you now right. yeah. ready I have one for you yeah. um so what so what, what if you're labeled or if you're thought of as a Christian rapper. Oh no, I, that's right. I said I don't. I don't care, but I I understand. I understand. You know the reach thing. I understand all of this stuff. I understand. Right. Is, is, is like it when such, I seen like is all it such the a, is it such a stone, bad thing? Stone the hell out of Lecrae. I I understand but both the, sides. I understand. But the thing with Lecrae is that Lecrae he's trying to do Lecrae came right. out of cross movement. And I understand how they feel. Right, Lecrae came out of cross movement. So Lecrae right. started out as this gospel rapper. Yeah. Right, which is funny because. When he, <laughs> when he was like the gospel rapper, the the Jesus rapper Lecrae, I ain't like his music. <laughs> so I wasn't a fan until Gravity. I heard Gravity. I was like, Yo, yeah, I wasn't a right. fan. The, I wasn't a fan until Rubber. I, do, I don't listen to that. So that's just me. Right. Like, it's not right. Against well, I, I think talent or any of that. You, you know? know, I think I think the the what 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 people don't seem to understand. I think a lot of times what Christian you know for the, what Christian rappers don't seem to understand a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Is that when you begin one way, um, and you grow your fan base that way, in this mar- in this niche market, right? Um, and you get people that are saved, and your music is is helping them, is feeding them, right? If it's helping them grow, it's encouraging them, and then out of nowhere, and this is the problem. That was the problem. Out of nowhere. Not only do you shift <laughs> what you you, 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 you shift lyrically, but then you kind of diss the people that that were the ones that um that brought you up. That's that's where Lecrae's problem was. That's where Reach Records' problem was. Of course, yeah. You know, I, so I think you know. Um, Aha, I agree. Aha, I agree. Uh, what's his name? Aha Gazelle. Yeah. Right. He's. He he was sending his stuff to Rapzilla. He kind of started in the Christian market, and then all of a sudden he started like crapping on the Christian on the Christian quote unquote, Christian market, and then and then you're shocked because people are upset. Yeah, you can't crap. It was on, so ridiculous, right? You can't. I was like, what do you mean you're not a? Right? <laughs> you're se- you're sending to get posted. You signed to the number one Christian label, right? So yeah, I, well, how are people supposed to think? So, you know, so I think I think that's the I think that's about one thing. <laughs> that's, I, a, that's a different thing. Well, that's yeah. a different but thing. That's but with, that's with the, the reach thing, it was just how how it went. I I think I think yeah, like we, and, and, we, and we, I sp- haven't asked we, them about we spoke about this why in the house. they did it, how they did. You know what I'm saying? But right. what I would do was a nice little. It, it could have been like thirty second. It could have been Instagram clip size to your fans. Hey, this is what we're trying to do right now. We're gonna shift da 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 da. Ray Ray right. Ray. Bam. Focus. I hope you guys still rock with us. Done. Right, boom. <laughs> That's it. Right. That's it. But, but you don't, yeah. you don't, you, and yeah. and I think that you don't, you don't yeah. poop on your. But like I said, I, we I, have that people problem. at the front lines often make a lot of mistakes, and we just got to learn from them. It's like you, you yeah. can't just shoot them down. Like you know, it sucks, but like at the end of the day, I, I also feel a lot of these fans, you know, right or wrong, idolize. Yeah, so that way they, there's they so do. much pressure on them. <laughs> right, yes. right, and and they, and they do, and they do, and and that's yeah. not. I mean, oh, that's he's not, not right. A Christian anymore? What? Like, uh, I'm gonna kill yeah, that's not that's not right in either. A lot of people's eyes more Christian than ever. Like, he right. wants to reach the laws. He's, there's people who don't know Jesus who he's trying to reach. You know, right? But like, I think I think right. The, so I think you're the mad people, at him because he <laughs> now wants to do. Wants what to reach Jesus wants to, right. says. Well, but to I, do. I think I think that I think I think I would bet. 
I would venture to, my guess would be that the majority of the people that are the most upset of the, of the kind of the lyrical content shifting and kind of all the shifting are the people that probably, you know, um, you know, these artists really, really fed into them. Mm -hmm. And when, when you're a young kid and you're, you're learning of the Bible and, and you, you find these artists that kind of feed into that and encourage you and, 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 and help to give you courage to to stand up and to Someone's walk a, your faith. A sense of betrayal. You know, then I can understand why you would be upset because you've been telling me we're not, I'm not ashamed. We're never going to stop preaching the gospel. And then all of a sudden, you kind of. I'm not saying that's what they they did, but that's that's the perception yeah. without any explanation. And then you kind of crap on them. I think that's where a lot of that anger comes from. I think the subgenre the subgenre title is the problem in the first place, in my opinion. I understand how it can be used. Definitely, yeah. I understand. And, and that, and that but could that be is where that is the stem of all the problems. So, who's your favorite Sikh rapper? Who? What rapper? Who's your favorite Buddhist rapper? I don't listen to. I don't listen Why to not? other religious music. Why not? Because I'm a Christian. Okay. So, how is he supposed to reach non Christians if he's labeled a Christian rapper? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say that there was such a thing as Buddhist hip hop? You don't think there is this Christian rap? Why can't there be Buddhist? I'm asking. Rap? I don't know. I'm asking. I didn't know. I'm asking a real question. Hold there's other there. religions. Why can't they? Be you said other a Sikh rapper. Hip-hops? I'm like, there's a rapper that just talks about <laughs> trying to find stuff. Dude, all I, I, I can heard, anybody tell me where my shoes at? I'm saying. <laughs> I, I heard Sikh rapper. Well, I'm, I'm trying like, to educate Jay on one of the one of the hold on, hold on, Buddhist or the issues with labels, and the main reason why they. Well, no, believe. well, no, because you know it's not because they don't believe in Jesus. No, because well, <laughs> well, it's the diff. No, nah, but you see, you gotta understand though. Is they want the to history people who are not searching. The history, the history of true. Yet there, there, there have been Muslim the, rappers. The message hasn't changed. There have been Muslim I mean, rappers. Most death there, is a Muslim rapper. There have been five yeah, percent rappers. I know other, other they rappers. weren't ashamed of saying they were five percenters. They weren't ashamed of saying they he's were. He's not Muslim. ashamed of saying he's a Christian. So he's saying I'm not a Christian rapper. I'm a Christian. I'm a man of God. Well, I'll that's pr- true because no he one prays for no, people. You right, know what right, I'm right. saying? No, no one. No, I'm not no saying one, that he, No one that he, says. That no one says. Is. No one says. Oh yeah, look, this is most deaf. He's a Muslim rapper. Nobody says that. Right? Nobody Most says that Muslim free, rapper. Freeway, the right. Muslim rapper. Nobody right. says that because yeah. Muslim is but, not a genre. But, Muslim but, is his but you, faith. But you got to understand. But but right. you got to understand the history. I now listen. I'm not. I'm just saying. I don't disagree. I'm I mean, I do disagree saying. with how they did it. But no, what I'm, no, no, but what yeah. I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, is that <laughs> part of. And I don't know how we got into this. Remember, remember. Because Christian, Thomas got offended Christian, that you called him a Christian rapper. I know, right? <laughs> Should be offended. Um, <laughs> Christian. Christian hip hop started because these guys way back in the 80s and the 90s wanted to preach the gospel in the musical format of the culture. That that is that is its roots. And I think and also I think and also part- they were doing r- hip hop or rap music in the church. Like the Muslim people that are Muslim or or, or that 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 um practice Islam don't do hip hop <laughs> in the mosques, right? So there well, is, no, no, not, there, not, there is the, the association of Christian rap and Christian hip hop because before it was solely done in the church. But that was later because early on it was about it wasn't it wasn't about doing it in the church, but it was doing it on the street corners. It was doing like the block parties and the outreach where you're out there, you're rapping about Jesus, and you know, like you're using it as a way to connect. So that's, I mean, that's that's. That's the the roots of this thing called Christian hip hop. So it it started as a way of reaching the streets with the gospel, and that's why it was very gospel centered lyrics. I feel, I feel lyrics. like whoever now, started it, the label was was scared because hip hop is the music of the devil. You can't rap in here. No, no, this is this is gospel hip hop. Like they're rapping about Jesus, right? Because really, it's just hip hop. It's not. Well, I don't think it, I don't think they were scared. I think the it, I, th- is the I think it, I think it was just a a a, a rem- the well, rem- wasn't a flavor. It was it was <laughs> just know? a way of explaining. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's the salt. It's just it's salt. It's salt. Yeah. It's salt. <laughs> I'm saying they felt like it is they, a flavor. They felt they needed to explain it to the elders, not to right, the right, people, it, right. It's a, right. It's a it was a way right because you need the elders to support you to to be able to take so. 
And I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that they called it that. It is what it is. I mean, if if at the end of the day, right? I mean, I think uh, uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It, it, Christian hip hop is the idea of Christian hip hop is still a very young, <laughs> you know, relatively speaking, it's 25 years old. I mean, and and it's that's relatively young when it comes to the when it comes to the kind of the the music, you know, and even within you know a genre or subgenre or. You know, yeah, it's not a genre. Whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's, it, well, I mean, it kind of, it's a subgenre of, of a larger genre. I mean, there's all kinds of, I mean, you, even in hip hop, you've got subgenres. Yeah, but you don't call any other hip hop by these subgenres. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you do. do. No. Yeah, you yeah. do. Dr. Dre is a hip hop artist. You don't call nope, him a gangster nope, nope. hip hop artist. Yes, he's a gangster he's rapper. He's a gangster yeah. rapper. Go to any magazine, any website, any and they, and go they to ta- Spotify and they and see what he's under. And they hip hop. And well, they t- that well, that's also because Dr. Dre doesn't rap, rap anymore. anymore. <laughs> But when Doctor when Doctor Dre was remember, out there when, with he, NWA, but, but when they it was ca- gangster when, rap. When NWA came yeah. out, it was, it was ga- gangster it was rap. Gangster rap. Yeah, and then gangst, right? gangster rap is taking over America, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And gangster then after, rap. and then once they calmed down, when Easy E died, and it calmed down, then it's West Coast hip hop, and then there's East Coast hip hop, and then there's crunk, southern, and southern, southern and Midwest yes, and whatever. Yeah. So, so, so there's no Canadian hip hop. Excuse me. <laughs> the, the number one artist in the world. Okay. Who? Okay. Who? The number one hip hop artist in the world is who? Who that? Drake. Okay. Nah, nah. We don't. Yeah, he might not be your favorite. We don't, we don't recognize Drake. <laughs> but we don't recognize another, Drake as anyhow, a number one anything wait, in this, anyhow, po- he does on this podcast. Numbers don't lie. I thought Drake but was uh, an R and B singer. Hold on. So labels, labels. <laughs> <laughs> He's true. Labels do exist. He does emo hip hop. Wait, doesn't he sing in Spanish now? He, he, Isn't he like he, a merengue singer now? He does emo hip hop. I believe he does reggaeton. Labels do exist, but they're all hip hop artists. But whoever created. Uh, Christian rapper, or gospel rapper, whatever, wanted to is making bank separate. <laughs> no, no, actually, <laughs> separate actually or he's not. or s- yeah, s- separate the right, separate it from the world to not be of the world and all of this sort of like it's not, it's not, no, it's not that, it's not that type of hip hop. That it's not the devil music. It's this, but it's hip hop. It is hip hop. Like, no, and, and so and now that's and most, that stigma most, has grown with the most, poor quality well, listen, of that, music. That, listen, that argument. See, but here's the here's the thing, right? Here's the thing people don't seem to understand. <laughs> <laughs> that that battle of whether it's it's Christian rap, gospel rap, or rappers that are Christians, <laughs> right? That 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 conversation, that argument, has been going on since 1988. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it'll continue to go right? on, and it'll continue to go on. You know, but the thing is, and, is and that the when title talk has about- nothing to do with with whether or not the music is good or if it sucks. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the title. It has to do with the artists that well, are just good the or artists that you know that you got the, you just. Like I, th- I think I think that the problem is if most artists should have kind of your mentality. If you want to call me, right? If you want to call me a Christian rapper or a gospel rapper, fine. If you want to call me uh, just a hip hop dude, fine. I don't care. Just listen to the music, <laughs> right? And I think I think that's where that's that's the problem. That that um, you know, people don't want to be labeled, but they say, I don't want, don't label me this, but label me this. Well, no, you, you, I, everybody, you want to be labeled. You just, I see that. And I, I, I just, kind, I kind of agree, but I think, I think a bigger problem is the Christian artists that think that the label s- signifies their level of Christness. Right. Or like, you know, somebody who is not known as a Christian rapper. Cause I've been that guy. Right is not mature in Christ or is not doing things for God or, you know what I'm saying? All of right. that sort of stuff when it's like, mm, I don't know, bro. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to diss you for being the the finger, but I'm definitely an arm fam. Like, <laughs> right, right. Don't, don't, right, don't I, yeah, bad talk me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and like I said, this is this is a battle. It's been, that, that that idea has been going on <laughs> forever. The, the, the funny thing is, is that, you know, what do you do, like Lauren? So bringing it, kind of bringing it back to Lauren, because she's, you know, she's done something that hasn't been done in like in ten years, right? And that is, you know, she debuted a Christian album, debuted number three. It's wonderful, you know. Um, and the only two that were ahead of her uh, were Paul McCartney, because he dropped 
he had dropped a new album, and I think Eminem. Mm-hmm. She beat everyone else out for that for that number three spot. So now we we see that as awesome, mm. right? I think that's awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, it is. But what happens now that you got the spotlight as a Christian, right? And when you start getting asked the tough questions, <laughs> and that's kind of what the whole genesis of this thing was before we we do what we do, which is we we got all rigmaroled. So now, hold on. Do you guys think that what if what if she okay? Because you said she did a Christmas album before, right? Yes. So yeah. what? And before that, did she release anything? Yeah, she had a yes. She has yes. A, a debut album. Before this one that blew up big? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what if she had no album before? She did a Christmas album, which was all about Christmas, and she dropped this one, but it was labeled a soul album. A who album? A soul record or whatever the heck Adele is. like. Right. You know, and she was on Ellen. And one, do you think they would have asked her that? Well... Yes. Why do you think that? Because she signed to a major Christian label. Oh, because she's... Yeah. I'm talking based on the music, though. If she was signed to Sony. If she was signed to Sony and she sa- and she sings soul music, but she's talking about Jesus, no, no, it's the then yes. the same album, because that album yes. isn't overtly religious. Yes. You think... It is overtly religious. I mean, I listened to it. I didn't feel so. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you you make the argument, Jay. Yes. No. no yes, you, they. You think so? No. Yes, they would. Know. You know why? Yes, they would. You know why? Because it's not. They didn't ask her that question because her music was religious or not overtly religious or just no, religious she's enough. A Christian artist, they right? asked her that because she's a Christian, because she's a Christian getting mainstream attention. Yeah, right? Christian artist. Right? So, no, it, it doesn't matter. She could be like Carl Lentz is a Christian pastor who's getting all this mainstream yeah. attention. And they always throw the same question at him. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are yeah. or what you do. You say you're a Christian, you're getting mainstream attention or secular attention. You got this big spotlight where non Christians are now recognizing you and seeing who you are and putting you all these things. Mm-hmm. That's the gotcha question, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? That's, that's the one that they ask everybody. Oh, well, I'm a Christian, and I write books. Oh, oh, you're a Christian? You write children's books? You think homosexuality is a sin? <laughs> right, and that was, I don't, think we, I don't think we established that that was the question that was asked. Oh, right? well, that's the so question she was, that was asked. asked. <laughs> she was asked what she thought about homosexuality. Um, <clears throat> no, not what she thought see, about I was, it. I was, I was going <laughs> to put Homosexuality yeah. was a sin. Because those are two um, different things. <laughs> If she was asked uh, that first one, that would be uh, hard to answer. Yeah, for real, right? What do you uh, think? Uh, right, so she, right, so uh, the question was... Oh, wait, she, my right. mom is calling me. She gets up and walks off the stage. Right, so the question was this. Um, the question they asked her was, what was her stance as a Christian um, on homosexuality and whether it's a sin? And her response was, I can't honestly answer on that in the sense of I have too many people that I love and they are homosexuals. Um, I can't say one way or another, I'm not God. When people ask questions like that, I just say, read the Bible and find out for yourself. And when you find out, let me know, because I'm learning too. She added. So that was her. Yeah, um, yeah the second part is pretty. That pretty was her good. response. <laughs> but after the first part is Right, it's high. the first part. But, but that's the thing, right? Because we, we were discussing this last night. And Joaquin and I were discussing this. I don't remember when. But um, it doesn't matter what you do or, who, or, or what it is. If you are a professed Christian and you go on these non-Christian talk shows or get shows, interviewed, right. whatever, that is the gotcha question, <laughs> right? To like, to, so, that that, so that that show or those, or, or those interviewees can make a name for themselves because like Pierce Morgan did it with Kirk Cameron, right? Joy Behar does it with anybody who says they're a Christian, right? right? <laughs> well, but Kirk, Kirk Cameron don't care. Yeah, he doesn't care at all. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. But still, like, oh, when Candace care. Cameron, remember when Candace Cameron, she was one of the women on, on The View. Candace Cameron Burr? Yeah, her. I forget, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, um, and Joy Behar, and, and she would always get into things because she was a Christian, mm-hmm. and Joy Behar is whatever Joy Behar is. 
uh, I say evil, but I don't think that's a religion. But uh, right, right. <laughs> and she would always get on her for be, just because she was a just because she was a Christian, right? And that's the gotcha question when when Carl Lentz went on the View to promote his book, right? Hey, we're gonna do this interview about about his book, right? Oh, hey, yeah. Well, here we have Carl Lentz. Oh, charismatic pastor from Hillsong, New York. Hey, so you wrote this book. So is homosexuality a sin? Um, I came here to talk about my book. What are you doing, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, and if you see the video of the interview, you can see that like he was like completely caught off guard. Right. right? It's like, whoa, wait, somebody like 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 if somebody slapped him in the face. Right. Well, I think because you know think you know thinking about uh, talking about an- how you answer. Right. Yeah. Um. It remember. That um, Kim Burrell was. Who's Kim Burrell? She's a gospel that singer. She's a gospel singer who was going to be on Ellen, but she got uninvited because of an right. of a anti gay sermon that Burrell delivered um, at a Houston church. I'm, I'm reading that. I'm not that smart. I'm reading. That. <laughs> um, yeah, she was. That's scheduled, right. That's was, right. That's yeah, right. That's was, why she sounds so familiar. She was scheduled to sing "I See a Victory" from the Hidden Figure soundtrack with Pharrell Williams on DeGeneres' show. On De- DeGeneres' show, um, and then uh, in a recent sermon at Liberty Fellowship Church International, Burrell, who was a pastor there, said that perverted homosexual spirit and the spirit of delusion and confusion it has deceived many men and women. Video of the sermon also triggered a uh, quick response from Williams, who said, if you're on Instagram, I condemn hate speech of any kind. There's no room for that in this world, blah, 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 blah. So because of that, um, she got uninvited from Ellen. So I wonder if 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 part of that response is just in the back of your mind, she's thinking, and I'm, I'm not saying it's right, but in the back of your mind, she's thinking, well, you know, Ellen invited me. Ellen really, so I can't, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I'm, Homosexual. Well, why not? Sin. She was she already did the Ellen show. Well, she's like she's off the hook. <laughs> but, but she wants to come back. That's a big that's a big get, right? If you get to sing on Ellen, if you get to sing on You see, the and then that's show. and then and then and, and 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 because of that thinking I mean that's that's I mean that's speculation. We right. don't know. Yeah, we don't know, but because of that thinking and because of her response, like the way she worded her response, well, I can't say because her, her, you know, it was funny because you earlier you said her publicist did her didn't do her justice. Yeah. No, I think her publicist did her justice. <laughs> helped her craft this weird <laughs> response that has everybody talking. That has everybody talking and everybody going, "Well, is she or isn't she?" I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure it out. She said, "Read the Bible," but then she said, "Tell me." Right, so, mm. so her response. Which one is it? Say, say what her response. The, the the part that I'm talking about. Say say what it is. Um, I uh, which one? Uh, read the Bible. The one that I have gay friends. She says, uh, I, can't, I can't honestly answer on that in the sense of I have too many people that I love and they are homosexuals. Right. So that portion of her response made me think quickly of Galatians 1.10 where Paul says, For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I was still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Because that's the thing, right? Like no one... I think that if the question was worded, okay, so you're a Christian, so do you condemn homosexuality? Yes. Right? All <laughs> of it. Then, yes. My that's promise. No. That's like a super gotcha. That's like, oh, right? right? You know, right. and she can, right. like, say she doesn't want to answer that, and that's fine. Or she can answer, well, I'm no one to condemn, blah, 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 whatever, right? Right. But the fact that she was like, well, I can't say if it's a sin or not because I, I have homosexual friends or I have people... That I love, that are homosexual, right? So, uh, right? For me, that was yeah. a bit lukewarm. That that like I can neither confirm nor no, deny. Nor, nor deny. Right? Right. So don't ask, don't tell. That's the only portion of her response that I personally have an issue with. Right. Because I think it could have been worded better. Yeah. Right. And, and mind you, this, this she, that might have came out like that because she was caught off guard, like you said. Right. Because towards the ending, she kind of shaped up a bit. Of, right. 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 She cleaned it up. Yeah. She cleaned yeah. it up. Didn't quite know what, how to. Like it's one of those. It's like me a lot of times where I kind of start something. And I'm not quite sure how to <laughs> how to close it out. So I mean, I don't know. I think I think bottom line though in a lot of this is that it seems it's something I think we've said a thousand times, right? And it's that we have a problem with with a lot of young Christians. They're just not they're just not rooted in scripture. Yeah, and and you know, and like we've always said, there's this big 
um, gap in discipleship. Like it's a real lack of discipleship issue, and you know, and going on right now. You know, and we and we throw right, we throw people up um, on these kind of pedestals because they're artists, be, and and because oh, they're Christians that broke into the mainstream. So some, so they're an, they're our ambassador, right? They are our ambassador. So we put all this kind of extra pressure on on anybody that um professes to be christian and and breaks into mainstream right we we tend to put this extra pressure on them here in this country i mean i just read i just read something the other day where they're talking about beaver's comeback and he was apparently talking to lecrae and talking about beaver beaver having some kind of comeback to no no that was all a a christian album no that was all that was all speculation we were talking about on the way over well it's but but that doesn't matter that's all you need is speculation that's clickbait that's That's right that's rapzilla clickbait that's (laughs) That's all you. That's all you need is speculation. Oh, wait a minute! I said I wasn't gonna drop the name, right? Whoops! Sorry. That's no. Rapzilla clickbait. No, but that's all you need is speculation. We'll, we'll attack that next week. Right? I mean, because, we'll talk about that next week. Right? Because when because because when Bieber does drop an album, there's gonna be people that'll be upset if it's not Christian enough, <laughs> right? And there's gonna be people that'll be upset if it's a little more Christian than what I mean, he there were dropped people in the upset, past. Right? There were people upset with Bieber when when he did the song with Khaled and and Chance the Rapper, where Chance the Rapper was like. Drop the lyric about you know you you rap about God. I just want to see that booty applaud. Right. right? Oh well, Bieber's a Christian. Why do he is he a part of that? Oh well, Chance the rapper's supposed to be a Christian. Why did he <laughs> drop that lyric? Right. It's like right. yo, you know, let's let's let people serve God. But um, but the thing is that the thing is this right, and and I need I need promise to to chime in on this yeah. because like he's doing it. He's done it. I don't think I don't think right. I don't think he's been in a situation where they've. Come on and ask them that question yet, but um, they will now. <laughs> they, right? they will now because that's like I said, like that's the gotcha question, right? But he's maneuvered those waters, like he's maneuvered those circles, so maybe he could like open a uh, uh, a consultation firm or something, like <laughs> like ad- advise these What's new up? these new up and coming artists on how, how to give it. on how to give responses and how to. Maneuver between Christian and mainstream markets. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I yes, I think differently than a lot of people, but like, I don't have all the answers by any means. You know, I I definitely don't know what to say all the time, and I probably said some wrong things sometimes. Maybe even today during this podcast, right? You know, because my ah, my opinion th- is is some people say, well, what what did she say? says I'm blunt. My wife says I'm blunt right. and harshly honest. Right. Oh, like a New Yorker. <laughs> and yeah, truth hurts, right? So like, I don't know. See, I, I don't think that you gotta learn to speak in love, right? Right. I, I yeah, know. I think I think we we kind of have this misconception that if you're that if you're that it, as if you speak bluntly, you're not speaking in love, right? Like they they yeah. can't they, yeah, yeah, they can't yeah. be they, blunt like they can't and coexist. in love, right? They can't coexist. Um. And I, I don't know. I, it feels like it seems like um, that when you do speak bluntly, whether the person likes it or not, you 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 tend to have at least they respect that you speak bluntly. It seems that non-believers don't like it when a belie- someone who's who's a, a professed believer right, who mm-hmm. claims to be a believer mm-hmm. speaks in this weird, you know, double speak. Right? Well, I, I want to. I want to speak truth, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. So I don't want to. So I'm not going to say this. I'm not going to say Jesus is the only way because that. But I'm going to say God loves you because uh, who doesn't believe in God or right? Who doesn't have whatever their concept of God is? <laughs> you know. So I think that's you know. I mean, I think at the end of the day, I think that's the thing. If you speak blunt and you're an honest person and you show love in how you treat those that you're dealing with, mm-hmm. you know what? Some people are going to be offended. Mm-hmm. That's life, right? I mean, it's. I don't think. I don't think there is. Now, if you're like Jay, and you just kind of say it, <laughs> and uh, they run the chips and feelings fall where they may, and they run away crying, then you maybe didn't do something right. No, but listen, like, and, and then there's also this other side of um, of like Lauren Daigle and her response or whatever, or cause, because like um, Carl Lentz was also attacked. Because he didn't come out and say and condemn abortion, right? There's also this this feeling, or this 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 sense that a lot of believers have that because these people have platforms, <clears throat> right? 
then they had to make the stance or the firm stance that they don't make. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, well, I'm in, in my workplace, you know, I don't speak those things and I don't say, well, homosexuality is a sin or abortion is a sin, but you have a platform and millions of people know who you are and they listen to you. You say it. Mm-hmm. Like, don't ask me to say it because I right. don't have a platform like you do. But right. since you have a platform, God blessed you with this platform. And it's your responsibility to be accountable for that platform and take the hard stance that I won't take. Right. Right? So it's like, you be right. bold because I'm a chicken. But when you say it, you got to stare them dead in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Make them feel as uncomfortable as you are. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so, you know, so promise says that, Hey, I'm just blunt. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come. So how has, so now, all right, so you say you're blunt. So how does that, how does that translate in the relationships that you've, that you've had or that you, or in the relationships that you have, right? Within, within some of the, the, I guess in the secular realm Mm -hmm. that you're dealing with, I mean, is that, um, are they just kind of like ah, that's promise, or does that does that open doors I've, sometimes, I've or never had an issue with anybody who's not Christian, <laughs> I've right? Never, because I'm not I'm not rude, right? If you talk to me, you'll figure that out. If you don't talk to me, you might think I'm rude because I don't really talk. You might be like, oh, this guy didn't even say hi to me or something, right? But it's like mm-hmm. it's like um, Rick Flo, Rick Flo is um, Black's dad. <clears throat> so Rick Flo, remember he signed with Hundred Mad. And he, he performs and he goes on tour with Onyx mm-hmm. and all these people. And like he's done shows, he's shared stages, he's 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 featured on their on their on their songs. And I think like after like the fourth the fourth show that he did with them, he tells me that like Fredro from from Onyx turns around and says, Yo, you don't you you don't curse in your rhymes. Mm-hmm. Like I just like, we, like we, just we, we, we just we just noticed that. We were talking like, you know, you like 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 you're so dope, you spit and you're hard, but like you don't like you don't curse. Like, what's that about? You know what I mean? And I was like, well, you know, I mean, the talent God gave me. I'm a Christian I don't need, rapper. I don't need, I don't need, to, need to curse. curse. <laughs> right. So, you know, there, there there's something to be said about about showing showing who God is, showing that you're a believer, mm. right? Doing this thing and whatever that thing is that you're doing without having to be without having to beat somebody over the head and shoulders with a Bible. Right. You know without what I having, mean? Without having to wear it. Right. Without having to, like, put a sticker on your head. Was that, isn't, right? it, isn't, it, isn't it scripture that we shown by our love or something? So yeah. I could be wrong. I don't know. No, no, no. no. You just show that you're yeah. my disciples by the yes, way you love. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's one of, one of, yes. one of Jesus' commandments. Those, uh-huh. are, those are red letters. Not by right. a genre title label. Right. Not by, <laughs> you know, you don't walk into, like, you don't go into a job interview and... So, um, talk to us about your past job experiences. Well, I'm a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to know first and foremost that I'm a Christian. And if you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to hell. <laughs> but um, in my last job, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> I, that's that's not that's not that's not how it works. Yeah. And and the I mean, thing, it might you might get that job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends, right? Yeah, right. Right. And, and right. that's not that's not it's that's pros that's, and cons, and it's pros and cons. That's not how it works. But then also, it's not for us to demand. That somebody else do it that way. If you're not that's, gonna do it, that's the thing. That's what I said. I have right? no if problem. You're not gonna with, do it that way. People who are like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm never gonna. Uh, this is who I am. This is what commission God gave me. That's great. You be a Christian, but don't be mad at that dude because he's not. Right, that has nothing to do with you. Right. Right, or he's, he's, doing, or he's doing it differently. Your or, he's, or he's doing it. Oh yeah, right, exactly. He's doing he's, it differently. Or he's you, doing like, it differently. Yeah. Uh, you shall know. Now, if he starts, you, sh- you shall know them by their like fruit. So that, stuff that's like antichrist in this thing, then you can kind of pull them up and talk. Oh, yeah, you definitely reason, pull them to the like, side and hold them right, accountable, right? Because then that's that's inspecting the fruits, baby. Yeah, yeah inspecting <laughs> the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, man. Right, you'll know them who they are by the fruit. Fruit. Right, show. Let, let me show. Let you know, yeah. let me see. Let me see the fruit. My fruit, good. <laughs> Shameless plug. Good so, fruit. I good fruit. Ah, <laughs> Holla. Uzu. Holla at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. So um I I have nothing else. What is it? Legacy, legacy, yeah. legacy, legacy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have anything else, Jake? Nah, man, I'm good. Promise so, kept. We're done. I think that's it. We are wrapping up. No, uh, no. Where can we Boom. look for you? I promise music. 
everywhere. Any, any platform, Google, anything. I promise music. But there's something extra. Um, talk to me about your program. Sorry, what? Your music program. What are we talking about right now? Wait, Buddhist hip hop. That's not it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's a program? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. my site? <sighs> Yeah, yeah, your site. Okay, yeah. So I started this this thing. Uh, I had to go to your, I was looking at your website <laughs> to see what it was it's called. It yeah, kind of so goes with yeah. my brand too. That's funny. I promise you. So like, what I'm what I'm doing is I'm promising my fans to give them new content every month for the rest of my life. If you rock with me, join the team. Ipromisemusic.com. Holla at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So just go to Ipromisemusic. Get all the information yeah. there. Um, and that's awesome. So glad that you joined us from the Great White North. Oh, mm-hmm. and what? and I listen to his new music. Garbage. Yeah, it's something you really want to get. No, no, out. it's not garbage. No, <laughs> that's not what you were saying off air. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Nah, dude. No, it's I, like, I heard it. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. <laughs> um, I've heard the new stuff. It's fantastic. <laughs> so uh, it's fabulous. So, <laughs> it's fabulous. Two snaps. Um, <laughs> promise. Thanks for joining us. Thanks we appreciate. We appreciate you. Uh, remember, everybody, just go to theopefulpodcast.com. That's where you get everything. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love you. As always, I'm Joaquin. And I'm still Jay. And this is The Overflow Podcast at the overflow, <laughs> the overflow Podcast <laughs> dot com. I go can't there. believe you still get tongue-tied with that. I do. It's crazy. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>